imagine every morning waking up feeling empowered, knowing that you know exactly how to shape your future to match the reality that you desire, that you've been dreaming of. Whether that is creating more success in your life, whether that is experiencing more fulfillment, having soul line friendship, manifesting a soulmate, strengthening the love that you already have in a relationship, whatever it is that you are yearning for that perhaps currently isn't exactly tangible and you're not really sure exactly how to do it. In today's video, we're going to dive into exactly how to shape your future by planting the seeds right now, shifting your subconscious mind, which has the 95% power in your life in terms of how you think, how you feel, how you respond. And we're going to really dive into through the lens of hypnosis because hypnosis is one of those modalities that when it's done effectively, it has the power to permanently change how you think, how you feel, how you act in a positive way. So. Before we get going, hi, my name is Atena. On this channel, we talk all things that lead you to love yourself unconditionally and we manifest our dream realities. So if that is something you're interested in, you should consider subscribing. And as we get going in today's video, I want to let you know that on Friday, we have a future self hypnotic workshop. It is going to activate your future self. So that and other ways to work with me directly are linked below in the description and in the first comment. When it comes to hypnosis, first of all, if you haven't seen the video where I teach you step by step how to hypnotize yourself, you're going to want to watch that after. I'm going to link it up there. Um, it also comes with an extremely powerful PDF where, you know, there's one thing to say the things and then there's to see the things. I just find that so much more complimentary. So make sure you check that out if you have not already. And so when we talk about hypnosis, especially when we want to manifest a future version of ourselves, what we want to think about is how are we going to filter our reality? What does that even mean? So every day you are going about your life, okay? There are billions of bits of information, different vibrations, different sensations that are coming towards your way. So you have what they call a reticular activating system, which is at the forefront of your mind, which basically scans and filters reality to seek opportunities that are going to match a story, an identity, a sensation that you have imprinted within your subconscious. In essence, you are always manifesting. And the biggest issue that most people have when it comes to manifestation, especially when there's a new reality they want to bring in, is that it solely happens on a conscious level, which is only 5% of your mind's power. The other 95% is habitual patterns. It's things that have been living and breathing inside you for a very long time. And so if you're feeling that you've desired something for quite a while and it has not yet manifested, one of the primary reasons is because your subconscious identity has not upgraded to that level. So as your reticular activating system is scanning reality, there are things that it will literally not pick up on or someone will say something to you or an opportunity will present itself and you may not even see it. You may not even hear it. You may not think you're ready for it. If within the back end of your mind, that subconscious has not rewired or at the very least, you have not planted a very healthy reminder of what it is that you need. So think of it this way. If you tell someone today, hey, I really want to manifest love into my life, right? But your entire subconscious identity, your entire sense of self, who you know yourself to be, has identified with someone who is unlucky with love, someone who just never catches a break, and every relationship before was a disaster, there is a pro process in your mind that's going to say, well, the absence of the evidence shows that it's not possible. But the very fact is that the reality is that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. I'm going to repeat that. The absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. And very often when you're manifesting something new, what you want to do from anything from the past is only take what you need, only take the lessons. And it always takes a leap of faith to bring in something new. And when we plant it within the subconscious using the power of hypnosis, we start creating a familiarity, right? We love 
as humans to experience what's familiar, which is kind of ironic because everyone loves surprises. Every, like, okay, maybe you don't, I don't know, but call me crazy. It's like, I love to be surprised on my birthday with presents, for instance, right? And a lot of us want that unknown, want that anticipation. But when it comes to the big things in life, right? When it comes to our success, when it comes to our relationships, when it comes to things that we're used to experiencing a certain way, we may or may not know it, but there can sometimes be a resistance, a resistance to what's unknown, a resistance to what's unfamiliar. So when you plant the subconscious identity of what you desire to manifest within your subconscious mind, there's an easing that enters into the body. Hypnosis activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the part of your nervous system that allows you to feel more relaxed, feel like, hey, this is who I am. This is meant for me right now here in the present moment someone who has the identity that they are for instance capable in business or capable at the gym or capable when it comes to love they will still continue to face challenges but in their subconscious identity they they know themselves as hey i'm someone who deserves beautiful love in this life i'm someone who takes care of their health i'm someone who knows how to run their business they will experience challenges, but it will not make them stop. It will not stop them from seeking the opportunities that are meant for them. And one of the magical things that happens, especially when we plant the seeds within the subconscious mind of this identity, is that we start entering into a world of synchronicities. We start entering into a world of, you hear one thing, and there's a chain of events that starts to happen or you just pick up your phone at that exact moment you pick up you make the call that you are anticipating making what you're afraid of making why because it's who you become it's who you are it is what you know to do and so that's a big part of manifestation and so the second part through hypnosis is to very consciously recognize what are the parts that I'm resisting, right? So this is where it comes to how do you correctly hypnotize yourself, right? Because if you just go and hypnotize yourself and say a bunch of affirmations, even within your subconscious, you may still not believe it. You gotta identify what are the things that I'm resisting? Desire, a desired reality plus non-resistance equals the desired reality. <laughs> Okay, it's that plain and simple. And so when you identify what you resist, and I'll give you one example. Growing up, I was very into academics. I was a not a straight A student, I'm not going to say that, but I really wanted to succeed, to impress my mom, to impress myself. And like and also no one wants to be held back in high school. Like think about it. Like just think of how society is crazy in that sense. Like the shame that's brought on if you're held back in high school, like you're punished if you have bad grades and school, the way it's created is not for everyone, right? And so failure becomes a big like ugh, thing. Though when you go out into the world and you want to create a business, you want fulfillment, you want to be successful in your career, let's say, you're gonna have to experience failure. Failure is a part of success. And we dove into this in the previous video where we spoke about how to eliminate loud negative thoughts through the power of hypnosis. So I'm gonna link that video below because it will complement this part of our conversation really well. So you go into hypnosis, change your relationships with some of the things that you have resistance towards. Most of your resistance is going to come from not wanting to experience everything. And I know that sounds almost counterintuitive because it's like, well, I want the love, I want the abundance, I want the success, I want the fulfillment, I want to experience magical relationships. But the reality could be that you've been confined to just feeling this, right? So failure on this end can feel like death, right? And then joy, if you've been living, like I lived in survival state for so long that when my life started to ease up and started to relax and my days began to be structured creatively the way I wanted them to be structured and I began to experience a higher volume of joy, it started feeling like chaos. 
like the momentum started to feel like chaos. Why? Because it wasn't identified within my body. And so I kept myself in this range. And then it's like, what if we just open up? What if failure is not the end of it? And what if the joy is something that I get to experience? The momentum is something that I get to experience as something amazing. And to hold the tension of both, to hold the tension of, hey, sometimes things don't work out my way. However, everything is actually working out in my favor. Even when things don't work out, like rejection is univer the universe's redirection. If one door closes, another one is opening. And when I'm feeling a high volume of joy and I don't know what to do with that energy, I'm going to teach myself how to master that energy, how to put it to good use, how to allow it to breathe. And so identify these, these parts of your resistance and to ease it up. I love to put this in a hypnosis. And again, if you want to have more tangible examples, definitely go check out the video from last week. But if we also put this in our day to day, so when you are awake, when you are conscious, like to move your body, to tap on your body. If you joined the future self hypnosis activation on Friday, we are going to face our deepest fears and we are going to tap them out because when you face your deepest fears, and you allow yourself to feel it, and then you strengthen the pathways in your body that say, I can handle hard things, and I get to have a life of ease, I get to have the life of my dreams. There is such a, an exhale, an exhale, a relaxation, because you're no longer going to wanna to control every single aspect. And in fact, this may be going on a tangent, but, Something that I firmly have become so aware of over the last few years as I began to manifest through the future self-hypnosis is that I love to play states of being. How do I want to experience my days? I want to wake up joyful. I want to wake up rested, not needing my alarm clock. I want to wake up excited for my day because I get to do creative projects. And so how that's going to happen, sometimes the path is clear. Sometimes it's not. And when you plant that within a hypnosis and you make it a habit to say, hey, when I recognize something that where I have a resistance, I have a resistance to the programming of failure or I have a resistance to the programming of rejection or I've come to recognize, hey, every time I get way too happy, <laughs> I somewhat sabotage myself. How can I ease up that resistance? How can I change my relationship to that resistance? And this comes into the third step, which is the body. And by the way, these three steps, it's not step one, step two, step three, they're all interconnected because your body is super wise. And in fact, your body will tell you more often than not when you're ready for something or not. Hypnosis is extremely powerful to bring a sensation of relaxation into the body. We live in a world of stress, of fight flight. A lot of times when we're staying in that box of resistance, it's because our bodies have not, we have not taken the time to decontract. We have not taken the time to go into a state of ease and beingness. So many times, especially like as I go through my busy day, I will, when the day's busy, because it's not always busy, if I feel very stressed in the middle of the day, I will put a hypnosis. Why? Because unlike like meditation, let's say, because sometimes when it's too much, I, like I literally can't shut off my brain. So what I do is I put a hypnosis track that I've recorded. And even if my mind is busy, I promise you by the time you get to the staircase, which if you watch the video where we talk about how to hypnotize yourself, that's like the end part of an induction. You go into a state of, you release, you let go. I honest to goodness, it works like magic. And another thing that we do in hypnosis is that we open up the wisdom of the heart. So many of us are guarded and we want to protect and nurture our hearts, which protecting and nurturing your heart is fundamental. But know that your heart is magnetically 5,000 times more magnetic than your mind. So we plant the seeds within the subconscious mind, though we also create a mind-heart coherence. We also send out into the magnetic field our manifesting desires, manifesting desires, our desired manifestations, 
through the vibration of the heart. And this has like allowed me and allowed so many of my clients to manifest things almost seemingly out of thin air, though it's almost like a no brainer because this process of hypnotizing yourself to manifest your, your future self, it's an art and a science, right? The art of allowing yourself to go into that future vision, to allow yourself to receive that future vision, and then to plant the seeds and to begin to rewire your neural pathway, to begin to re relax and ease your body, to reprogram some of the conditioning from society in terms of the different things that you have felt your whole life. And I will say one thing. So one of the most powerful things we can also do with a, with a future self hypnosis. So this is the fourth step. This is kind of coming in. I, I didn't even plan to say this as part of the video, especially if you joined the workshop, what we're going to be doing is that you can go into your future self hypnosis and you can even ask your future self, what is it that I'm resisting right now that I can't, that I'm not even conscious of? What is it that I need to pay attention to? If there was one thing from the future that I need to remember in today, in the present moment, what is that one thing to allow me to carry me forward? And that has radically transformed my life, my client's life. Anyone who has done future self hypnosis, if you're watching, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hands, buns. One second, Mama, Mama's almost done, okay? Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you check out the links that I left for you below. I'm sending you so much love. Let's manifest our dream realities. We got this. And until next time, I'm sending you so much love.